Hey folks, my name is Rojo, and welcome back to our Spellcasters Only playthrough of Shining Force! When we last left off, we had a bit of a uh, scrap out in the desert here. Killed all kinds of zombies, mages, dwarves, bats, everything you can think of pretty much. And uh, we had Tao uh, pretty much claim MVP status on that one. But now it's time to move on to Monarina here, and it's one of my favorite areas in the game. So let's get going. Alright. Welcome to Monarina. Yeah, that's what I thought. A land of magic and mystery. So this is sort of the, um... The, uh, wizard, like, learning center of, of Rune, in, in a sense. <laughs> we're sorry about attacking you, but we thought you were from Rune Faust. Oh, thanks. Appreciate that quite a lot. Why do you have dark mages? Hey, and speaking of, uh... Well, not speaking of anybody, but... This is, uh, this is someone important. Yes, I am Henri. What? What about Guardiana? And my father? Who are you? I don't have to listen to this nonsense from someone I don't even know. Go away now! Wait, Princess Henri. Please listen to Max. Nova. This is Max. He's leading the fight against the Runefaust army. But my father, the Sword of Light, and Guardiana. Is it true, Nova? Yes, Your Majesty. Is all true, I'm afraid. I need to be alone for a while. We understand your majesty, but do not let your grief overwhelm you. I must be alone now. How morose! Although her father is dead, so it is a sad thing indeed. So we want to uh, go and talk to uh, Henri at some point here. We'll get to it. But there's so much to explore. Experiments in progress. Proceed at your own risk. We got some people here that we can chat with. The only sane person in this land is Autran. Everybody else is really weird. We shall see how weird they are indeed. The Pool of the Ancients and uh, Encyclopedia of Magic. You, sir, I am Autrant. You wish to find the key to the accursed door before Cain of Runefaust. A legend tells that the Pool of the Ancients below is tied in with the accursed door. To reach the pool, you must first get the Orb of Light from the Cavern of Darkness. Defeat the monsters in the cavern and the orb is yours, then return to me. Max, enter the cavern and retrieve the orb of light. All in due time, but not yet. What else have we got going on? No more magical duels, it wrecks the town. Have you already seen the pool of the ancients? We have not yet. Ah, so it's a talking magical pool. Beneath this building is the cavern of darkness, a horrible place they say. Curious that they would have it to begin with. But they did attack us with zombies and dark mages and shit, so... Guess we shouldn't be terribly surprised about that. Many strange, uh, strange language type books going on here. Spark 2, Blaze 4, and many more books. Yeah, Blaze 4, bring it on, man. Give me more. What a mess. People, when will, will people ever learn not to use Blaze inside? Indeed. Oh, shit. Yeah, look at all that, uh, it's like a travesty back there. Who's this guy? Oh, you're just in time. Would you like to observe? All right. He's researching summoning demons. That's not very good. He shall summon a dreadful thing from his worst nightmares. Come forth, O oh creature of darkness. I conjure you. Oh, who do we have here? Perhaps a succubus? You! When are you going to stop these tricks? Come home right now! That would be... his wife. How... how quaint. Look at those boobies, though. Some pixelated pornography for you. Can we search? Nothing is unusual. Not for here, anyway. Alright, well, that was an interesting little encounter there. What else have we got? Hey, there's the, uh, the priest. We should actually go and, uh... have a chat with him real quick. Since we're uh, in the area here, we'll swing around like so. Hello. Doesn't have much of a uh, much of a uh, what do you call it there? A uh, a church, but you know his little uh, two by one cell is good enough for him, I guess. At least it might as well be a cell. Uh, will I continue the journey? I will indeed, but we don't need any additional help. Who's this person? Feel free to wander about as you please. Well, I was already sort of doing that, but I appreciate it nonetheless. 
All right, we've got some more stuff to do over here, though. Did he say anything interesting? Experiment assisted bondage, low wages, high risk. Yeah, no thanks. Assistant wanted, great excitement, guaranteed. We're not gonna read all these books that would take years. Be quiet. Wow, that was rude. What about you? No time, gotta study. Maybe later, everybody's too busy to talk to us. Everybody. Ah, it's all so clear now. I wish I knew what it was. Hello, don't usually get guests here. I'm thought to uh, be rather strange, you know. Ah, now this is a very important room. See, this is kind of like a, some kind of makeshift monster, but if we search for this, we check the machine and we get a Domingo egg! Hey! This will be very, very, very important later, and I'm going to kill myself figuratively if I uh, forget what I'm supposed to do with this egg. I mean, I know, but if I forget to do it, it'd be a bit of a problem. But we'll, uh, we'll continue exploring for now. We've got, uh, got that. It's a very important item. Where am I? Don't tell anyone I got lost. I'm too old to get lost. What's this all about? Welcome to my research room. I change humans into animals. Care to give it a try? I guess... Please stand over there. All right. This, uh, this should be totally fine. I mean, I'm sure nothing can go wrong here. Oh, oh dear. We appear to be a chicken. <laughs> uh, well, we, we did ask for this. What a tasty... Hey, I am not food. I am Max, guardian of... Guardiana. If I can change humans to hens, we won't ever have to worry about food. Yeah, that's a bit of a uh, weird way to look at things. <laughs> what in the world is a hen doing here? Go up. Uh, we don't want to talk to these people yet. Let's talk to these people instead. Ah, uh, well, they, these guys don't seem terribly impressed. <laughs> Maybe later, chicken. Who can turn us back? What's up, hen? <laughs> Somebody must be able to turn us back. Maybe, uh, well, we might as well search this. Spark level four. Oh, man, give me that. That's, that's a rad spell. I don't even know if I've ever, ever even casted spark level four in my entire uh entire playthroughs of this game maybe this guy he seemed to be old and wise seeing you makes me hungry i wonder what's for dinner that's not ideal either who else have we got everybody wants to eat me this is not what i wanted next time don't volunteer for experiments thanks a lot man but uh the damage appears to be done Maybe she can turn us back. If we, uh... Come back into... No, uh, no, 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 no. Come back into here. Uh, we come back? I honestly don't remember how to unchicken myself. Maybe somebody, uh, outside here. Like, up here, I'm thinking. What in the world is a hen doing here? I, uh, listen, man. It's a question for the ages, but now is not the time. Memories of Guardiana, Introduction to Magic, many more books. That's all well and good. Somebody's got to be able to turn us back. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> Drat, not as good of a view from here. Better climb back up. Uh, I don't think he's going to make it. He's not going to make it. Oh, he tried. He tried. What have you got to say? What a cute little hen. Go on through. Thank you. Finally, somebody who can see reason. Mystery of the Shining Path. All about the Shining Path and many more books. Can't do anything with the flowers, it looks like. VIP Mage's Lounge. Old Gert turned you into a hen. That is easily fixed. Oh, well, thank goodness. Starting to get worried for a minute there. Whew, okay. Back to normal at long last here. Oh, if we can stop spinning. Thank you. <laughs> we did well to reach this room. Have you ever heard of a place called Shade Abbey? I don't know that we have. It was founded long ago by Fold from, from Guardiana. 
They knew much of the ancients. They know much of the ancients. Yeah, we don't seem to. Lots of Shade Abbey stuff, though. This guy is curiously interested in Guardiana, though. Uh, let's see now. We've got a couple more. Ah, yes, of course. This is uh, this is where the blaze magic happened. I don't think there's anything we can do in this room. There are a couple things we need to do here, though. Luckily, we are not uh, cripplingly weak mage. We can manage to climb up a slide with the greatest of ease, as a true hero should be able to. Uh, nope, this is not where we want to be. I'm trying to get back outside here. Yeah, here we go. We need to talk to her, and we need to talk to this fellow here. My name is Arthur. I used to be a knight, but I'm not really a battle type. I like it here. Oh, well, I guess he doesn't want to come with. I know my duty now, Max. It is to hunt Kane down and make him pay for what he did. I'll fight with you. I'm sure that's what my father would want me to do. Hooray! All right, we got Henri. Not the best of circumstances, but she's a powerful mage. Tao, as you are well aware, has uh, blaze magic. That's her specialty. But uh, Henri is uh, more of a freeze type mage. She gets a uh, level four freeze and I think level two blaze. I'm trying to figure out how to get this guy to come with me. I guess he doesn't really want to come with right now. Maybe after our next battle though, that will change. We'll see. We come over here. I think we can talk to Otrens again. I don't know if he's got anything else to say. Yeah, enter the cavern, retrieve the orb of light. All right, we're gonna have to come down here. Let's actually check out um, Henri. Make sure she's well equipped for the battle ahead. She uh, she has uh, a power staff, which is good. We're gonna need that. But we're also going to give her a uh, a medical herb here for sure, just to be safe. Cavern of Darkness lies beyond. Only the strongest survive the trials. Oh, let's not go in there just yet. There's something else. Ah, yes, back here. Nothing unusual. Maybe, uh, maybe after. Okay, behold the dreaded Cavern of Darkness. You must defeat the monsters to gain the orb. Okay, so we've got uh, a treasure chest and a treasure chest, and those bats are basically just wasting my time at this point. And then we've got another, actually, curiously, a treasure chest up there. That is that is going to be brutal, though. Three mages, unless we can AoE them down. Shitload of treasure chests out here, basically. We're going to have to uh, get all of them. And I think we have to do it before the battle ends, which is uh, maybe the trickier part. We certainly don't want to put Chris there. Uh, I'm curious if these zombies will even come after us. This is actually 30% land effect right there. Oh, and he's still poisoned. Okay, well, we'll uh, we'll deal with that in a moment. First, let's drop down some fat blazes. Get these zombies uh, weakened a little bit here. I believe Henri also has blaze when she starts off uh, with the forest, which is good. Let's see, Gong has... I think Gong has an herb. No, he doesn't. Okay. Somebody has a medical herb somewhere. We'll, uh... We'll endeavor to get Max taken care of. I sort of forgot to do that, so... It's not that big of a deal. Two damage off the uh, right off the bat, you know, it's not, it doesn't help, but... I'm sure uh, we'll, we have the resources to take care of it. I, I mean, at the worst, uh, I guess we die because of it, but it seems unlikely. Yeah, those guys aren't even going to move, which means I could exploit the, uh, the AI a little bit more. I'm actually feeling pretty okay about just casting de detox here and this should take care of uh, yeah it takes care of our poison immediately sadly low needs like one more experience point or, or one more magic point and then he can cast seven spells instead of just uh, six but it's okay this is gonna be a little bit tricky um let's see what does she have yes yeah, she oh she doesn't even have freeze yet are you kidding me Wow I thought she started with uh with freeze, but I guess not. We can't put her right in the uh, the line of fire yet, though. Um, I think like her her defense stat actually gets quite high. Oh, well, she gets to go again, even much to my surprise here. But um, her defense, yeah, is god awful right now. It's worse than Tao's is, for Christ's sake. So uh, we definitely can't put her in harm's way just yet. 
But uh, getting this guy down should open up enough space for us to maneuver a little bit here. I'm a little surprised they didn't attack us. There we go, level 7 for Tau. Looking good. Not, a, not you know, an amazing level, but it's, it was okay. You can't, uh, can't complain too, ter too, too terribly much. We're doing, uh, we're doing okay damage to these zombies, and actually Gong leveled up here. The two attack is actually pretty nice. Oh, and he gets heal level two, that's handy. Gong doesn't really get that many spells, and his spell progression is not super fast, but uh, it's good enough, apparently, <laughs> for him to uh, have blade or, or, or heal level two anyway. Okay, um, I'm feeling pretty alright about putting Chris here. Uh, do I want to though? Is that a good idea? I think it's an okay idea. I don't think those guys are gonna come after us. I mean, if they do, we'll uh, we'll regret our decision a little bit probably, but uh, I don't think they will. We're gonna get swarmed by bats though. Yeah, those guys are content to just hang out, and actually Chris is gonna get hit here a little bit. Yeah, that hurts quite a lot. Luckily, we have plenty of uh, plenty of healing at our disposal. We can have Max finish this fellow off, though. That seems all right. Oh, and a crit, even. If I knew he was going to crit, I would have had him attack something else. But that's the way the cookie crumbles, I guess. And we can have Lo take care of Chris's uh, wound there. That zombie was not kind. And ideally, we'll be able to get Tau right up in that zombie's face to uh, be able to hit the Master Mage, or, the, or not the Master Mage, Master Mages are later, the uh, the Dark Mage. Yeah, I want to hit him. We need to be careful with her, though, because we are going to need uh, her AoE. But this is such a good opportunity, and I think we'll be able to get that zombie before it gets to go. So, we're going to take risks with Tau. It's the only way that... She's going to get the XP she needs, and really the only way we're going to be able to survive these battles, even if she ends up getting killed uh, from time to time. Didn't even really get that much XP from that, unfortunately. But uh, we should be able to clear out this zombie, and if we're lucky, we'll, we'll be able to get that mage before he gets to go as well. Max, I don't know, I don't know if he's close to leveling up or not, I'm really not quite sure. But after we get these guys all cleared out, we're going to need a few turns to to uh, kind of catch up. Actually, this is an okay kill for, for Chris, if she can do it. Otherwise, we're going to be fucked. We're going to get Blaze to in the face. But yeah, as long as, I mean, the sniper may kill her, but uh, I don't think he will, unless he gets a double attack. They hit hard, but not that hard. These bats are not a threat at all, so I'm not worried about that. I would like to get uh, Henri some XP though. She um, she starts out quite weak, or quite a lot weaker than I expected. All right, let's see what the damage is going to be here. It's actually not that bad. Oh, but he did get the double attack. That's very dangerous. And we can come over here and have Lo take care of her again, or or we could just have Lo come over here and kill this guy. I like that better. Those bats are probably not much of a threat. 10 damage to the sniper is just fine. Some good XP there. And Chris can heal herself if she has to. Um, now let's see, what do we want to do with this? I think we're going to be okay. Let's just bring Max right out here and uh, start wailing on these bats. Because they're still like, they're like old school bats. We've been fighting these guys for ages. They're not even worth XP at this point, practically. 11 is actually more than I thought, but... And actually, we're going to have Chris come over here and kill, or at least attack, this guy. Hopefully, I don't regret that decision. I'm hoping Gon gets to go to uh, heal her up, though. Yeah, this is kind of what I uh, what I want to have happen here. I was actually hoping she'd be able to kill that sniper, but uh, it doesn't look like it's going to be the case. Or, well, wasn't the case. Anyway, I guess I should say. Still, things are going pretty well. Ah, and actually, we can set up Henri for a kill here. That's uh, That's just fine. This should net her 48, I would, I would think. Yeah, perfect. Not to worry, we are going to get all these chests. I'm just uh, in the mood to clear out some bats first. I'm going to leave Tau back here. 
This guy, however, can, uh, or low, not, not just anybody. He can actually go out there, but he's, um, he's far enough ahead. Uh, let me check his inventory, though. Uh, his inventory's full. Hmm. I guess we're gonna, we'll send our mages to get the chests while we, uh, clean these guys up. I don't think the bats are much of a threat to low, although missing doesn't help, but, uh, they certainly aren't a threat to Max, even if, you know, he gets put to sleep. We got other people. Oh, jeez, come on. <laughs> uh, we got other people who can take care of the situation, but it is inconvenient. Those mages are going to be on the move now. That's, uh, that's not a problem. Um, I don't think they'll come after us, so we don't have too much to worry about. These guys are just asking for Blaze 2. But I'm not sure that we're going to uh, oblige them. Well oblige them a little bit, I guess. Just to, uh, weaken them. And, uh, I guess we'll send Tao down, uh, to get this chest in the south here, I think. Yeah, there's a, there's a few chests that we need. Um, that's not what I wanted. Here we go. Uh, we'll send Chris over here. Hopefully she can kill this bat. Hey, there we go. Well done. Not great XP, but, uh, you know, they're weak enemies at this point. Can't expect too terribly much. Hey, and Max actually woke up immediately, which is quite nice. Um, what does Gong's inventory status look like? Yeah. So we may need to spend a couple turns getting people, uh, to where they need to be to pick stuff up. Ooh, and the bat evaded. That's not convenient. Um, hmm. I kind of hate to send Henri out to... to do anything other than fight, but, uh, yeah, that's a nice dodge, too. Um, yeah, th in fact, I'm not going to, just because the, the opportunity to get a kill here is, uh, it's too valuable. So we'll take care of this bat. I don't think she's going to get 48 XP, but, yeah, actually, she got pretty close. So one more attack, and she'll probably level up, which is good. It's very good, in fact. So maybe we can even set her up for another kill, uh, right here. If, uh, if things go well for us. I'm thinking actually Max has pretty good movement speed, so we may send him- Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking bats, man! Uh, I was gonna say we may send him out to get uh, an item, because he's, he's got some clear, uh, or some inventory space, rather. And he, he got double sleep there. Not that that matters, I don't- uh, as far as I know, status effects don't stack like that, so... It's really kind of a non-issue. Um, and actually, Chris... Yeah, Chris has inventory space. Let's start sending her down this way. Oh, and he woke up again. Thank goodness. Uh, we're gonna save the rest of Tao's magic, so actually, why don't we send her out as well? Uh, but first... We haven't done this yet, but we can actually transfer items in battle when it suits us, so we didn't get max movement there, but... It's okay. No big deal. Leave, uh, we'll leave that bat alone for Henri, and we'll, uh, we'll kill this bat over here with Gong. He won't one-shot it. Oh, he won't even hit it. But yeah, he wouldn't be able to one-shot it anyway, I don't think. It, it would be close, but... Not close enough. We're gonna have to actually set up Max with a little bit of healing. Man, are you fucking kidding me? Holy shit! Holy shit, come on, man, get it together. Alright. So these bats are both pretty low. If I can, actually, I might even let Henri get both of these kills. Um, she has the magic points for it. She could even melee them to death. Uh, man, he's fall, fucking fell asleep again. Please, Max. And in fact, actually, yeah, I'm going to guarantee her a kill here. Um, just because she'll have enough magic to deal with some of the mages anyway. So I'm not terribly worried about it. There we go. She gets one attack. 4 MP, that's pretty good. I'm not sure when she gets freeze, though. I, like I said before, I thought she started with it, but she'll get it soon enough, I'm sure. So we're just gonna cruise over over there, and there we go, Max woke up again. Um, I'm actually gonna have Lo come over and uh, drop a heal on Max here. Even though he's gonna take another little bit of damage, but uh, we'll give Lo something to do, so... <laughs> I figure, why not? Let's see if he falls asleep a fucking again. 
Yep. Wow. I don't know if these, these bats must have like a higher proc chance for that sleep or something. But here we go. We're gonna we're gonna be able to finish this guy off right here, I think. Yep, there we go. Excellent. Perfect, okay. Now then, we have some items to go and pick up. Uh, we'll leave Gong here, I guess. Uh, it doesn't really matter. There's, there's actually quite a quite a lot of items. We may not have all the inventory space that we need. Um, but it's not, you know, it's not really the end of the world. Max is asleep. He's gonna be sleeping for a while, I bet, this time. Not that it matters, we're not going anywhere. So let's search this one. Hey, we got a medical herb. That's not that good. But, gotta check them all. I know there's something here that we definitely really, really want to have. Um, I'm thinking the Orb of Light's probably in the chest behind all those guys. And we can actually send, uh, Henri to get this one. And we'll use a, uh, an herb on, uh, I guess we use it on Max. It'll get a little some more XP yet again and free up some inventory space so we can pick up something else. Like that chest to the south over there. And it only costs us 10 gold, so it's not really that big of a deal. And I guess Gong is just gonna hang out again. Alright, so Chris comes back up. Tao should be able to get this chest, yes indeed. Power Staff, okay that's good, we can sell that for a fair amount of gold. Um, Max is still sleeping. And we'll get this chest with Henri next turn. I was really hoping Max would be able to get one of these, but sadly, it doesn't look like that's going to pan out. There we go. Alright, what's in this one? A wooden staff. That's not so good. I mean, it's better to have it than not, I, I guess, but only barely. Okay, now we can start sending Tao back here. We're going to need her before we take on those mages so she can drop another blaze too. Um, because otherwise we could get pretty much fucked <laughs> by, uh, chain blazes, which is not good. We'll move these guys up a little bit, though. I don't think they're going to come after us. If they do, we'll back off. But, uh, we're going to stay spread out just in case. Yeah, they're, uh, they're content to just hang out and let us make the first move. That skeleton is actually, this could be the first time we've seen a skeleton, I think, in this playthrough. So, new enemy type, always interesting. Undead though, so definitely weak to, uh... Ah, there we go, that's what I was looking for, a power ring. Power ring's quite good. Um, but yeah, we, uh... The undead are, you know, they're weak to blaze and everything, so that's good. You can't heal them to uh, do, do damage like in D&D or anything, though, unfortunately. Otherwise, our healers would have a really easy time with this one. Alright, we're getting there. I think we're pretty pretty well all set. And actually, we should probably equip Low with that ring since he's got it in his inventory at the moment. There's, uh, there's really no reason not to. Even though he's probably not going to be the one to uh, use it. Well, now we're going to start to creep up here a little bit and get people in position. And uh, I guess we'll stand right there. Power Staff. Yeah, another four attack power. That's pretty good. That puts him higher than Gong and, and Max, I think, even, actually. Yeah, these guys are not going to move. They might move if I put Max up there, though, which makes me, like, kind of honestly, like, wicked scared. <laughs> Max can take, theoretically, two blazes, but... I would love it if he didn't have to take two blazes. Oh, well, we're gonna move up anyway. Yeah, they're just gonna stand there. Those guys, that mage got to go fucking twice too. Holy shit, they could have been super dangerous. But the AI, the AI in this game is not the not the strong suit. It's all about the adventure. Now she can't really do anything, so I'm gonna put her right here for now. And here we go. This is what I was waiting for. All right, let's light these guys up. If we're lucky, we'll be able to just cruise in here and kill all of them before they get to go, but I, I doubt it. Yep, not even close. Although that guy was in the back, so he didn't get to go. And I'm feeling pretty comfortable bringing Max in to take out this particular one, since he can reach him. 
Especially since that other mage just got to go. Okay, and oh no, Gon can't quite reach. That's the worst. Henri can though. So yeah, we'll bring her up. We'll at least be able to take out uh, this guy here. And, and the other mage will only be able to get one blaze off, so that's not so bad. Henri could use the XP anyway, so that, that works out pretty well for us. We only got one guy left, so that's good. Oh, and Gong gets to go anyway. Perfect. Alrighty. 12 damage, pretty good. He almost one shot at that guy. Like, no XP, though. Okay, uh, we're not gonna put Max up there just yet. Let's move these people into position a little bit. Yeah, we're gonna put Henri up here. She might actually get killed by this skeleton, I'm not sure. But if she can get the kill on this, that would actually be convenient. Getting really good XP from, from uh, attacking that guy. And at this point, we may as well just um, drop some heals on anybody that needs them, if, if we can actually reach them. Unfortunately, he can't reach anybody, so that's fine. Yeah, that skeleton's just gonna stand there. Well, heal thyself. Perfect, all right. We'll let Henri get this other kill. The skeletons uh, don't really hit hard enough to be a threat anyway. I mean, this battle is basically one, so I don't really feel too bad about doing this. Just optimizing our XP gain a little bit here. There we go, eight points of damage. Skeleton goes down, 48 XP, and she gets level five. Very important to get her those levels. Hey, and she got freeze, all right. Terrible level otherwise, but... No, it cannot be after all these centuries. You mean they had this shit down there for centuries and didn't clear it out? Ah, <sighs> well, I guess, uh... Autrin's good at delegating, if nothing else. Anyway, uh, Max, the Orb of Light must be within that chest. Take it quickly. Take it we shall. Alright, well, we have the Orb of Light, and that's pretty much all that we need to be doing down here. So, uh, when we come back, we'll go back upstairs, talk to Otterant, and uh, do a little bit more exploration of Monarina as is necessary. But until next time, my name has been Rojo, and thanks for watching.